Hello, Oregon. President Joe Biden greeted Democratic campaign volunteers with a box of donuts. The president energized a crowd of nearly 100 union members and supporters in southeast Portland by describing the importance of the upcoming midterm elections. If we are able to keep the House and keep the Senate, we can continue to do the things we've been doing, which are really going to make change the country. Biden's visit to the SEIU 49 Union Hall comes at a critical time for Oregon Democrats. Recent polling suggests Democrat Tina Kotek is deadlocked with Republican Christine Drazen in Oregon's governor's race. Non-affiliated candidate Betsy Johnson is trailing. SEIU, the state's largest labor union, has put an unprecedented amount of money into backing Kotek, the Democrat. What a governor does matters. It matters. It matters, it matters, it matters. During his nearly hour-long visit, Biden joined campaign volunteers by working the phone. He made several calls and left quite an impression on those in the room. Hey the emotion, oh, I want to scream. Well, I get to scream a little bit, but it was great. I've never, I've never seen a president like that before, uh, just to be, you know, so close. It was an amazing experience. I mean, President Biden was on, he was inspiring. It really was amazing to be in the room with him. The presidential motorcade left Southeast Portland after a night of stumping with Democrats. The White House didn't disclose details about tonight's event in advance, so there really weren't that many people out to see the president. In fact, a few neighbors walked up to me asking, what exactly is going on here? But as word spread, a crowd started to gather on the sidewalk along Southeast Powell, and they cheered as the presidential motorcade drove by.